Hello my fellow nerds, this is Oracle Nerd Richie and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Mistrick. Now, in the last part we got we got both in the last part we got both the first and second endings. And honestly I like the second ending a little bit more. But apparently that's not the true ending of the game. If you know Hot Hotoge games at this point, then you probably chances are you probably know that there's more than just two endings. So there's this third ending in Mistrick, and it requires you to get all 13 different deaths. I, so I had to die 13 different times in order to in order to get to the true ending. <clears throat> and I so I have I actually have the walkthrough um downloaded and uh, pulled up right here. So I so I know what the so I know how to get to the deaths. I just don't know what they are. So So it, it just tells you what you have to do basically. But but I would, but I wouldn't really fi be able to figure out all this on my own. I probably would by like complete accident, but like, I generally try to avoid dying and trying to solve puzzles with just logic. So I actually started up a new game. I actually started up a new game so I can get all these deaths a little bit easier. And the best thing about this is that the game actually tracks which deaths you've already gotten. So like, I don't need to do the clown slide again. And I don't need to, I don't need to touch one of the shadows around Chase again. So I need, so we're going to go through all these in order from first to last. Start, starting with touching the big red mushroom. So, so, so let's go, so let's go ahead and. So the third one is a touch, so let's go ahead and touch the big red mushroom. Let's just see what happens. The gas emitted by the mushroom was a weirdly sweet scent to it. Suddenly you don't feel too good. Oh! Well, that's one death. <laughs> that's one. Load. Okay, so... To prove my theory, so deaths, three out of 13 deaths. There we go. See, so I already got the first two deaths in the last two parts. So, so we just need to get the, the rest of the uh, 12 deaths. So now we have to touch these mushrooms, I think. Plug, plug the mushrooms. Um, yeah. What is this tingly sensation? Oh! Well then! <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think, I think that's like two of the easiest deaths you can get in this game. Okay, so let's see. The next death is touch the, ch touch the chest while Chase is not in the room. Okay, well, I can talk to him, right? Gah! Excuse me, but that... Re reaction is unwarranted. I have not done anything to you. Uh, I thought you were that creep. I book it whenever I see that man. I can't stand him. So what do you want? I am merely curious about the contents of this chest. What do you have in there? Why? Why do you want to know? You a thief? You want to steal my treasure? Go away! Okay then, jeez. Okay, I did save, so... What are you doing? You're not getting any of my treasure. Oh, Jesus! Okay, he just sliced me in half! That's fine! That's actually- that's probably one of the more brutal deaths that I've seen, aside from the slide. Okay, so... So the next thing we can do is touch the clown chair. I- I have a feeling I know what's gonna happen. I feel like I know what's gonna happen. Let's just go. Let's just do it. Oh, yep. I had a feeling.
Okay, let's go to the next death. Okay, so the next death is that we touch the closet before the comedy show. So, like, you know, before we take the happy balloon to the, uh, to the rabbits. <laughs> so, let's go... So let's go ahead and do that. Hello? Uh, are you here to bother me? Um... I guess we say yes for the death, I don't know. Yes. Oh! Yep, we're dead. And I guess that's how Riki... I think her name was Rika? Yeah, I think... No, no, no. Rika was a rabbit girl. Uh, crap, I don't remember what her name was. Oh, wait, maybe the... What was, what was the ghost in the closet's name again? Um, I'm pretty sure it was, like, Rika. Yeah, I'm pretty sure her name was Rika. Anyways, um, next death. Oh, wait a second. I didn't know this was already here. There's an inscription on this door. Once you have seen every faith, this path will be unveiled. Under the inscription are seven lines carved into the door. Huh. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the game as normal and then I'll see, I'll try to find the other deaths. Oh, actually, I can probably get one of the deaths right here. So one of the deaths is that you touch one of the rabbits. Let's just see. Oh! Oh, oh, is he su- Oh, I, I can't move. I can't- I can hardly move. Oh, wait, he's up. Oh, it suffocated me. Okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> that's kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Anyways, uh, next death. Okay, the next death is to just look at the top left bookshelf. So, top, so just look at the top left. Various books about random topics. One book stands out to you as bright red. It's called, Aw, you shouldn't have. No, seriously, you shouldn't have. Okay, Jesus, I just got crushed. Okay, that gave me a bit of Misao vibes. Like, there's one death in Misao where you read a paper, it says flatty flat, and then the bookcases crush you. It's like one of the most unfair deaths in that game. Okay, anyways, uh, next! Okay, the next death is that we just touch the little book on in the library over here. You know, this little one. So let's just see what happens. A book's diary. Today I have awoken in a strange world. There are many things I don't understand, such as my new form. I seem to have turned into a book. It's quite an interesting experience, I must say. Not what you'd expect. For one, the, I see words written down whenever somebody talks to me. Like they are laid out in a text box in front of me. <laughs> okay, this game's starting to break the fourth wall. But the worst thing is, it didn't stop break OH GOD! Was it that book's diary? <laughs> what was that? Why is there a giant ass book just wandering around? This is probably one of the weirdest games I've played in my entire life. Okay, so the next death, I kind of need one of the one of the things in the in the bear's chest over here. See see so that bear only goes away if Chase is in the room. So so, I have to wait until Chase comes in here, and then I can go ahead and take what's something from the bear. So, I'll be back. I'll see you then. Okay, Chase is in the room now. So... So, now that Chase is in the room... Okay, so now that Chase is in the room, I can touch the- I can take what's in here. Okay, so now I just have to- I have to get around those shadows somehow. Oh wait, leave the room and then going back in and respawns them somewhere. Come on. 
Why are they? Okay, hold on. I'll try to figure this out. But while we're at it, we might as well get this. Ne so the next one of the next stats is touch the big sky painting. So we're gonna go ahead and do this to just see what happens. Oh, wait, what? what you oh, <laughs> we just <laughs> we fell into the hole and then we ended up in the painting falling from the sky. That's actually kind of funny. That's probably one of the funniest deaths I see. Not gonna lie about that. Okay, so the next death is the next death we can do right now is to give the story tree the wrong book. So. Oh wait, oh wait, I, I had to talk to Nini first. Hold up, I'll be back. Okay, after, okay, now I should be able to take a book after talking to Nini. So, it's called The Present Who Tricked His People Into Thinking He Was, He Was Capable Three. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna give him the wrong book. Thankfully I saved before this. And we're gonna see what happens. Talk. What you get in this Oh, I have to use an item. Okay. History book. I remember it's called as well as it's not new. The last you have failed your task, I shall collect your new story instead. Oh Jesus! So we got absorbed. This oh God. Okay, that's not what I expected, but all right. All right, um, let's go to the next death. All right, Chase is finally out of this room, so now we can, I guess, pluck the pink mushrooms. Um, so one of the deaths is to use the pink mushrooms on the clown chair. Go. Okay, so pink mushrooms. The moment you touch the liquid, your skin starts changing color as the air drains from your lungs. Oh, yep, there it is. Uh, that's yet another death. Okay, um, how many do we have so far? 13 out of 13. Wait, we already got all 13? That was fast. Alright, so, we got all 13 deaths. So let's just see what happens now. Oh. Oh, I'm ready for whatever's coming my way. Oh? So, you finally made it here, huh? Uh, yeah, where is here? What is this place? <clears throat> it's the only way out of this realm. But I thought Claire was the only way out of this realm. You're lying. I'm lying? John, you hurt me. I haven't lied to you once. Surely you can- surely you realize this by now. Well, if you wish to relive your death once more, you are free to jump into Claire's mouth, of course. So this has all been a setup from the very beginning. Set up? Who knows? Even I don't fully understand this place. You know, I just woke up here one day. Then how do you know this this way leads out? 
I don't. But I also don't know anywhere else it could lead. And where is this out? Not the real world, I assume. Hell? Reincarnation? The big void? Whichever religious belief tickles your fancy. You'll be proven wrong or right the moment you step out, I guess. I'm assuming he's not going to let me. That's for you to discover now. I don't understand. You're letting me go? Sounds like, to me like you understand quite well. This doesn't make any sense. Did you not want to spend an eternity here with me? Oh, Johnny baby. We've already spent an eternity here together. Eternity just gets boring after a while. Watching you die over and over and over while clinging on to hope that you were still alive just, just to have it crushed in front of your very eyes. Oh, it should have been so beautiful. But it wasn't. I watched you die over and over and over again. And it has... And it was so exciting at first, I was anticipating the moment you would break so much. But it just didn't come. I've tortured countless people. Countless of people. They would break after just a few hours. But you? <clears throat> Honestly? What the hell is wrong with you? How can you keep walking like nothing happened every single time? I think it's about time I look for a new victim. So go on. Cry tears of joy. You're released. Leave. Are you not obsessed with me? How can you let me go? You still don't get it. I was never obsessed with you. I was just obsessed with the idea of breaking you. I'm not actually attracted to people. I derive pleasure from their absolute despair. And you, a stoic narcissist who thinks the world belongs to him? Oh, how much I wanted to see this arrogant expression fade into absolute terror. But no, you just had to blue ball me like that. <laughs> bro, bro, don't be blaming me for your loss. <clears throat> I don't understand. <clears throat> Ugh, fine, you don't need to, okay? Just leave. Once I leave, you will look for a new victim? Of course. I wouldn't want to get lonely in here. Don't tell me you have, have you suddenly developed some kind of empathy. No. Yeah, that's what I thought. So stop worrying your little head about all this and just pass on, okay? No. <clears throat> huh? What do you mean, no? I cannot accept this outcome. I will not stand to let you fool around with another me with other men. You, you are supposed to have eyes for me and me alone. Are, are you jealous? For real? You actually like me after everything I've done to you. <clears throat> you have my you have the audacity to claim to be obsessed with me and then try to get rid of me. Now I must have you. Oh, the tables have turned. I'm actually speechless. I'll keep torturing you if you stay here, you know. If you refuse to leave, then I'll just keep killing you again and again. Who knows? Maybe you'll eventually break after all. <clears throat> I doubt it. I've somewhat come to enjoy the feeling. What? Ew! Excuse me? I don't think you have the right to kink shame me. <laughs> We're flex, but okay. So you're actually not gonna leave? It's gonna be pointless. I've lost all interest I've had in you. You're wasting your time. I'm not worried. You have all, all of eternity to come around. God, I regret bringing you here. Wait, so I don't leave? Oh, look at Nini and Rika! Aww. So wait, he just ends up staying there? That's the true ending? Kind of a weird ending if you ask me, but you know what? I guess it's okay. 
<laughs> Look how bored Chase looks. He looks so bored with John. <laughs> And three of three. Oh, and the game just closes. Huh. Well, I'm guessing that's gonna do it for Miss Trick. Um, I've I just beat be in this game. I really like it. Kind of a weird story plot, but I do like how it all ends up. I guess. And it and well, this game was made for um, Yandere Jam for Anich.io, so it. So, I guess I should have come to expect that ending. However, I did hear that this game does have a bit of a spiritual prequel. So, I'll probably look for that and maybe play it on the channel. So, anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment what you think about it. And comment what video games you want me to play next. Be sure to share this video with your friends. And make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a single notification. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.